sometimes it feels like you're on a movie set. I mean, that's real. But look at it. It's so old. I mean, look at this door. Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're coming from the island of Crete in Greece. Now this is one massive island and I tried to get around most of it within a week. Here's some of the highlights from my trip as we take a look at some beaches, the towns and some amazing places. Look at all those palm trees. So the idea is going to be to get down onto the beach and swim in this lagoon and swim up this river Let's go and do it. It's pretty advisable to not wear flip-flops, but um, a lot of people do. This is not the best path either in the world. And I'm, def <laughs> I'm definitely struggling in flip-flops. It's like the path has been eroded away. Still a few steps to go. So it might not be the best beach in the world, but the reason why people come down here is because of the uh, river that flows into the sea which starts basically here and then winds its way through there and up the valley well, at least there's a bar stroke restaurant down here So if you wanted to, we could um, actually do a walk through all the palm trees. Palm Forest Walk, which is just up there. But let's, uh, let's go, let's head into the water. Oh, the water's cold. This is obviously because it's come from the, uh, the rocks rather than the sea. The only thing that's put me off is all this algae that's in here. And obviously how cold the water is going to be but it is absolutely beautiful and swimming up here with the palm trees either side is why people visit you can swim in fact i think you can walk so uh... oh it's so cold and there's horrible things on the bottom this is gross i'm walking on like green matted stuff i have no idea what's underneath me it's freaking me out a little bit if it wasn't for you guys i would actually be swimming <laughs> but it's difficult to swim one-handed I'm not the only one walking down this river with these beautiful palm trees either side but it's an experience you definitely need to do just realize when I get all the way up there I've got to go all the way back I believe there's fish in here as well. Luckily I can't see them. Kind of like the only person in here from a, apart from a few people up there. Well, I can't say I've ever done anything like this before, walking up the middle of a river lined with palm trees. Amazing. It's definitely getting shallower now. Tropical that looks. Feels like I'm in the jungle or something right now. I'm walking on pebbles and rocks, which are not very pleasant, but uh, a lot of people like to sit on these rocks, so I've got to get up there. Made it out of the water on this rock, which is quite relaxing. I've just got to walk all the way back. I could continue to walk up there, but to be honest, um, I don't think I'll have any feet left. But uh, this is truly an amazing place to come and have a walk around. So I've made it on the rock. I could go further up the river, but to be honest, my feet are absolutely killing me, not only from the stairs, but the walk through the pebbles and stuff like that in the water so I thought I might as well have a quick look at the palm tree forest it's very noisy where I am right now so if you want to get that jungle experience without well going to the jungle 
this is definitely worth a walk however if you're gonna go down here make sure you bring some sensible shoes it's actually really peaceful with views of the water as well you can't get lost because it's a, it's all kind of roped off but you get some really beautiful views so walking on these rocks I thought there's gonna be a waterfall but um, there's just a gushing river basically that feeds uh, that river I was in and we're back out of the palm tree forest back on the beach and a random goose why would you find geese here just really randomly walking on the beach and onto people sunbathing so I came across this place by complete chance one thing Crete has a lot of is gorges these steps go pretty far I can see them going all the way round and all the way down to the bottom but we'll see what is at the bottom shall we these are going to be an absolute killer to go back up see people all the way down there it's crazy look at that big boulder over there steps continue the church and the waterfall so the church is there but I've just come across this amazing waterfall just over here let's go and have a closer look Wow that is amazing oh I so badly want to get in there Obviously all this is coming from up there somewhere in the rocks, seeping down into this amazing waterfall. And as you can see, it continues down there as well. And I think we can cross over the bridge. Let's go and have a look. There's always this fascination when you're abroad to pile up rocks upon rocks. I believe it's good luck, but nobody's gonna pile a rock on top of this one. <laughs> it's massive. And next on the tour, possibly one of the most popular spots on the island, it's Malia. Driving down the streets, actually due to coronavirus this place was probably under 60 percent capacity to what it normally is this time of year so i'd never been to a day beach club before so i thought i would take a trip here to nissos in malia i'd heard the food was good and i heard the view was absolutely amazing so it's only right i take a walk through down onto the beach and see what it's like. So I'm planning to walk over to this little island and this little church. I don't think you can go in it, but um, the only way to get across to this island is actually swimming. And I'm gonna try, and I hope I don't get the camera wet, otherwise I'll be having to buy a new one. I think you can walk out to a certain distance, but then you're gonna have to swim the rest. Look how clear the water is. It's a shame those rocks don't go all the way out. That would help me out. I'm now starting to think this is probably a bad idea with my camera. Obviously, if I didn't have it, it would be fine. Can I swim one-handed across? I'm sure I can.
That's how far I am away right now. And I'm not on a boat. <laughs> this is more tiring than I thought. I made it, I've just got to watch out for these rocks now that I don't, um... Oh, those little fishes. Here I am. Obviously, I don't have any flip-flops with me. This looks, well, spiky. You might have seen this actually on photos, this little island here in uh, Malia in Crete. Yeah, we can't go in there. Question is why would they build a church on an island that to get to, you have to be a good swimmer or have a boat. It also gets lit up at night, you can see all of these. Yikes, it looks completely different this side. If you've ever seen this uh, church in photos before and wondered what it's like up close, well now you've seen it. <laughs> Was it worth swimming out here and getting absolutely knackered? No. Now I've got to just go back. There is a pier though. Let's have a quick walk on the pier. This dock has seen better days. Yes, and just to prove I did actually swim back. I got tired in the end, so that's why I turned on my back. Next on the tour, we took about two and a half hours to get to our next location. Apparently, it has one of the best beaches on the island. So whether you're a beach person or you're not, undoubtedly this beach is absolutely beautiful. And the best thing about it, obviously, if you get bored of this side, you just walk through here and you get to the other side. But just look how clear the water is. Oh, it's warm at this side as well. Totally amazing and obviously from the air you can just see how this is just like one big sandbank to the island over there so just coming up to the narrowest point on this sandbank which is literally here so you've got the water this side and then the water over here which for some reason is colder. Oh, so nice though. is also the pink tint to the sand. There is another beach on the island that is also like this. Can you see the pink tinge in it? Take your time. Excuse me. No, you're not gonna move. 
Thank you. He's like, okay, I will. So when booking my trip to Greece, I thought maybe if I stay in the middle of the island, it'd be easier to get to things. It was still around about two and a half hour trip to get here. So this is a national park, driving through a dirt track road and then realizing how busy it was with all the cars parked at least two miles away from the beach. Up at the top, it did have a little bit of a canteen. However, they didn't take cards, so yeah, I was gasping. It was another long walk down to the beach, and by the people walking up the hill, you, you could tell that it was probably worth it. But this is what they came to see. This is known as Balos Beach or Lagoon Beach. And I didn't have the stamina to go all the way down because I was probably only halfway down. But this beach is truly amazing as you can see from these photos. Well, good evening. So I'm now in the old town of Rethanon. I hope I've said that properly. Uh, checking out some of the old town side streets, which are very authentically Greek. Loads of little tavernas and everything. And of course, loads of uh, shops as well. Let's go and have a walk. I once bought one of these bushes in Tesco. I know it sounds stupid, but they were selling them. I forgot what they're actually called. If you know, let me uh, let me know the details in the comments. But it didn't last long in England, probably to do with the uh, the heat. Look at those lights lined up. How pretty are they all down the street here? Now it's pretty quiet up here. I'm just going to head um, towards the harbour, where no doubt it will get a lot busier and uh, find somewhere to eat, actually. You could quite easily get lost down these side streets, though. Look at this shop. You can buy some authentic sponges here. Wow, there's a lot of them. Love these. Bit pricey though. Eight euros fifty for one of these. I've seen them cheaper elsewhere. Literally every street you go, you got something different. Look at this. quite a warm evening actually it's still about 27 degrees but beautiful to uh, to eat out look at that obviously I love the uh, the Greek architecture an interesting way to sell women's shoes <laughs> we're just saying that actually looks like a mess you wouldn't know where to start it's like the Matalan of shoe shops it's still quite pricey though See, sometimes it feels like you're on a movie set. I mean, that's real. But look at it. It's so old. I mean, look at this door. Crazy. It's got a padlock on it. Don't know why anyone would want to go in there. But that is on this street that um, looks completely pristine. And then you've got this really old building here. Amazing. So it's getting super busy now. Heading down towards the harbour. The smells, the atmosphere, this time of night is just gorgeous. And uh, like I say, I've only been here once, but coming around here, this is definitely my favourite part of the harbour with all these uh, beautiful restaurants lined up. I think I'm going to have to choose one of these actually. I mean, just look how busy it is around here. 
this is where a lot of the boats are moored of an evening for the water sports for the, uh, the Paris Sendling. Try not to fall in the water. Look at the fresh seafood here, look. Big squid, more squid, more fish. Gabby loves that stuff, I absolutely hate it. What to order though, that's the question. I think we're gonna forget a start with these prices and start with maybe some fish. Gabby would like that, she'd like that, even though I'd probably be sick. Mussels, yeah, nice, shrimps, grilled shrimp, sardines. And of course you've got some typical Greek options as well. So I've picked my table, hopefully Gabby will be happy with it. Looks quite nice. Um, the reason why I've picked here actually is because it's fairly quiet and obviously it's so busy down there, but we've got a nice view of the lighthouse as well. So while I'm waiting for Gabby, I just thought I'd get myself a nice white wine. So I've gone for the Caesar salad, Gabby's gone for the sardines, and Holly's gone for the traditional Greek dish of moussaka. I've never known a Caesar salad to have tomatoes. How are the sardines, good. Gabby? They're good. Go I on, try one. You just need to pull the bones right out from the middle. So let me just grab... Yeah, you have to pull it from the centre. Like, like loads of little fish. Like boccaronis, the Spanish Holly's would say. Holly's got moussaka, which is a slightly better moussaka than we had the other night. It's got aubergine in it. You don't like the aubergines though, do you? She's on the water, obviously. Taste test. Out of 10, is it salty? No. It's not? Sardines are not salty. I thought they would be. I thought sardines would be really salty, actually. Maybe the ones that are tin from Tesco's. So for dessert, I've gone for a cheesecake. Let's go for it. I can't eat all this all by myself, though. Gabby, you can have some. I'll probably be sick if I eat all of it though. So I completely lost where we were. Luckily I put a little pin on the sat nav so we can find out where we're going but I think yeah we are going in the right direction. The hunt to find the car begins. Although it's it's midnight now and it's gone very strangely quiet. Because we've all it? these shops were open earlier. Yeah I know. It's kind of spooky. Yeah. How different it looks in just like an hour. Like 12 minutes before we get to the car. But the people um, who were PRing in the restaurants on the harbour were still trying to get people in for food, so they must be open really late. Do you know what? That is the, uh, the best thing about Google Maps is that I found the car perfectly well. Anyway, it's probably past midnight now, and um, I just wanna say a massive thank you for watching this video. Please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it with someone who you know who loves coming to Greece, and indeed this beautiful island of Crete. If you wanna check out more Greece videos, I did visit Cos last year. Make sure you check it out. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Click that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video, and I'll see you next time. See ya. Off to the airport then. Are you ready, Gabby? Lights would be a good idea. See ya. Thank you,